We're losing mileage just from sitting here. Now we need to drive home. The sensor is having a rough day. This is not the kind of place that you want to be stuck with an electric car. Okay, it says that uh, we're, we should make it through there and we will have 5% left in this heat and we have to stay below 65 miles per hour. There's no way, we're not gonna make it. We have two options. One, we stay here tonight. They already are so nice at this at this resort. They're like, if you need a place to stay, we'll give you a place to stay. They're so nice. And then just charge all night. It would do it overnight. Option number two, there's a place called Beatty, Betty, but it looks like there's a supercharger a lot closer than what Las Vegas is, but it's definitely out of the way. Right here is a gas station. Obviously, if you have a gas car, you could just charge. But with a Tesla, this especially one that has around 260, 270 miles range, it makes it really difficult to go on road trips. It is not the easiest, most glamorous life with a Tesla if you're in extreme temperatures. Whether you're up in Alaska and it's 60 below zero, your battery's gonna struggle. You're not gonna get the range that it's promised. If you are in 130 degrees Fahrenheit, you lose all your range and there's nowhere to charge and the supercharging network is not robust enough to help you. You don't just have range anxiety, you have range no bueno. I don't know, I don't know what to call it. That's a dumb name for it. Range, there's no way you can make it to your destination. We've lost 20 miles in the last two hours as we've been watching that and letting the air condition go. I wanna get home tonight, even if it's midnight, I wanna get home tonight. I don't, I'm not sure I wanna stay in Death Valley tonight. It does sound nice to take a shower and change my stinky golf clothes. And so, we're going to Beatty, Nevada. It's uh, 124 degrees outside. We have 147 miles range. It's only 29 miles. I feel like we can exert some effort into this car. It's a long straight road. I wonder if we can hit 124 miles per hour in 124 degrees temperature. Let's go! limiting me. Okay, I'm slowing down. It got to 99 because of the current state of the battery and the heat in the car. It's limiting how fast I can drive. It stopped at around 98 miles an hour and then I had to back off. Anyway, that's a good test. How fast can a Tesla drive in 125 degree temperature? We're climbing up the hill right now, getting out of Death Valley. I'm fully stepping on the gas right now and I'm only going 62 and it's not going that fast. It's limiting how much energy I can use from the batteries right now because the cells are getting so incredibly hot in there. I'm gunning it. I'm literally floor, pedal to the metal. We're going 67 miles an hour right now. So I can't say this is a good thing to do to your Tesla. It's a little concerning even right now because it's like showing me kilowatt warnings. Careful, you can't use too much. You're going up a hill. The battery's super hot. Um, I, I hope we make it to BD. This is not the kind of place that you want to be stuck with an electric car. Where, who's going to tow you? How are you? Do you have enough drinks in the car? We do have a lot of water bottles in the back, by the way. We made it to BD. I'm really happy. We have 63 miles left. It's 106 degrees here. We're at 3,300 feet elevation. We climbed. Once we got over those hills, um, we weren't climbing anymore and the car wasn't throttling me anymore. I like Beatty. There's a really cool donkey in the road back there that people had their window down and they were petting the donkey. So, I mean, it seems like a friendly town. Just need to find the Tesla supercharger, get charging. Oh, oh I've never been so happy to see superchargers. Success. I have no idea where we are. <sighs> All right, we're gonna let this thing charge. It says it's gonna take five hours to get home. We will leave here after 30 minutes, go to Las Vegas, charge there for 50 minutes, and then drive home. So that would put us home at about midnight. Let's go inside this gas station, see what they have. One thing I really like, look at this drop off. That's a good 20 feet right there. That's a drop right there. So we're here in the uh, gas station waiting for the car to charge. And donkey's back. It's kind of like throwing up all over the place. If you had a gas car, first of all, we would never have come here, but if we did come here, we would just like come in, 
fill the gas and we'd be out. But we get to spend a good 45 minutes here just seeing all the unique things. The places you see when you charge. I'm trying to figure out how that guy got his car to right there. His, his back tire looks great, his front tire looks a little low. This guy just pushed the donkey away to try and back up and the donkey doesn't want to let him go. Donkey found a new friend over here. He's, this, the friend is trying to push it away. What are you doing? How did you drive that? He just wants food. He just cruise this town, he's like the town mascot. Hunter's enjoying the donkey scene here. This donkey is so social. He'll just get up in your business, say hello. There they are, they, everybody pets it. We are set. Well, thank you, Beatty. Thank you, Tesla, for sending me to this random town that I would never have come to. It says we'll arrive in Vegas with 29% left and charge for 35 minutes. So, um, that works, that works, I can handle that. Maybe we'll go drive by the donkey right now. Well, there's some more donkeys. My donkeys. Bye. Leaving Beatty. It's 106 degrees right now at 7 p.m. It felt like it was 70 degrees outside after what we went through today. Apparently we are right next to Area 51. I have a feeling it's not an official government building. Those mountains over there, those mountain ranges, that's where Area 51 is. How did we get here? I did not think I would be at this spot at this moment today. Yesterday, we didn't even know we were coming here. We left at like 9 p.m. I definitely didn't think I'd be going to Beatty and I didn't think I'd be going driving by Area 51. First time I've been here. Oh, well, we made it to Fremont Street. Do you remember when Leslie did the zip line here? The wall was down. Check it out, coronavirus baby! It's a different smell in Vegas these days. It's different than Death Valley. It smells like people have been inhaling different things here. <laughs> All right, time to find the superchargers. It's actually right by Fremont Street. It's kind of an interesting part of town. It's like in a condo community. And we have 55 miles left range, so we've made it just fine. Okay, so here's what's going on. We are charging the car. I need to use the restroom and I'd like to get some food. It's been a long time since we've eaten. It was way back right after the golf round. Where the supercharger is, the only place you can go is right here in Las Vegas on Fremont Street. If you live in a state that's not really open right now, this is quite shocking to see how many people are here in 2020. Pizza, check, drink, check. We got an extra lemonade for the road. And now we're just gonna make it back to our car. I'm gonna be real with you for a minute here. Travel board for Nevada may not like this, but if you're with the family and you stop and supercharge, don't go to Fremont Street. It's, it's not a great place for kids. I've only been there one other time and it was with Leslie when the Tesla told us to go there and we went on the zip line and that was fun. But the other things that you see around there, not the greatest, not the greatest. But the bottom line for this trip, the question was from the beginning, what effect does driving a Tesla in the world's hottest temperatures have on the vehicle? I would say I don't recommend it. I can't say this is a good thing to do to your Tesla. It was fighting, going up those hills, battling the hot temperatures. Don't take a Tesla on a road trip to 131 degree temperatures when the door handle is 185, when the road temperature has gotta be over 150, maybe close to 200, and it's just blasting up on the batteries. I do dumb stuff so that you don't have to. I just crashed the drone in the river. We thought it would be a great idea to take the other drone, my drone, and fly it at a very high speed and hit the other drone that's stuck to dislodge it so that they both could come tumbling out of the tree. Oh no! Boosted board down! Oh no! What did you do? That booster board fell in the river thanks to me. I used the wrong remote. 
That's how you steal a bike. This credit card's good. I think it's gonna stop us at 10 now. If it doesn't though, I'm gonna be here all day. I'm in! Oh! Stop it! Let me know your thoughts. What did you think about our trip today? And uh, did you have fun, Hunter? I had a lot of fun. I think we learned a lot of things, but more importantly, we did a lot of things that no one can ever say that they'll ever do in their lives. Yeah. Another two hour drive, get home at midnight. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys. There's more donkeys. There's like 15 donkeys down there in that field. Am I seeing things? Are donkeys my mirage? Hey, there's a hotel over here called Western Hotel, and the lights are broken, and so when it flashes, hey, nice bunny. He has a bunny, as a pet. That was cool. And the light flashes, it just says, we hot. Yeah, I, I feel you. It's like the theme of this trip. We hot. <laughs>